Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. All right, guys. Well, for the first time in almost four years, we finally got a new game today. Check this beauty out. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a Capcom Big Blue cabinet with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, my second favorite iteration of this series. Um, I am super stoked to have one of these. I can't, I'm actually seeing this for the first time. This game got dropped off today at my house um, when I was at work. <laughs> so props to my man Kalen for hooking this up and Chris, thanks for making the, the transaction so awesome. Chris came down and he was picking up a game local to me and brought this down with him and dropped it off. So um, I'm stoked. This cabinet is actually in really, really good shape. The lighting's awful out here. It's dark, but um, this is the first, I think this is the first generation Big Blue. And the reason I think that is because of the way that these little, the speaker is. I think in the second one, there's like square speakers right here. I need to do some research on these things. I'm not 100% sure, but um, this basically has... I mean, it's been turned into Super Street Fighter 2. This is a Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition bezel. And the control panel overlay is Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition from what I remember. So I think that's what this was, obviously, originally. But um, it's got the CPS2 system set up in it now because Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was, I think, the first... Actually, Super Street Fighter might have been the first um, board they did the CPS2 system with. They had used to be CPS1, it was like a regular looking JAMA board and I guess guys were pirating the game and making bootlegs and they decided F you and they started making um, the CPS2 boards. But yeah, I mean, this thing is a rat. I mean, looking at this, it's funny because I haven't seen one of these. I, Grinkers has one, but 10 year old me or 11 year old me, however I was when these um, came out, these cabinets seemed monstrous and this thing really isn't that tall. I mean, I can reach up. It's taller than me. It's about six and a half feet tall. Seven? No, it's not seven feet tall. Six and a half feet, I would say. Um, but it's in good shape. Like I said, it's kind of tough to see with the light right now. But there's some nicks and scratches you can see here. Um, but this would be a really, really easy candidate for restoration. Um, I'm so pumped on this thing. And I'm wondering what this game was before, because this is a three-player uh, coin door. So I don't know if this was, I don't know what game this was before, because Street Fighter usually only had, uh, I mean, there was two player coin doors from what I remember, but um, there's some nicks and scratches on the bottom here, but this cabinet is solid. And I love that it has a 25 inch monitor. Um, Street Fighter for me growing up in the nineties, I mean, I was born in 81, so I was an eighties kid technically, but all of my like big years of playing video games were early to mid 90s street fighter 2 for me the first time i ever saw it it blew my mind saw it in san jose at the mall and uh, i fell in love with it so we used to go when i moved to Folsom. <laughs> there was a place called cheesers pizza that had one we used to ride our bikes in the summer of 92. Uh, i remember we would go to mcdonald's to buy uh the dream team cups and we would go from mcdonald's to cheesers pizza play this um, circle k had one i think 49er pizza had one I have so many fond memories of playing this game and it's been one that I've always wanted since I started arcade collecting back in 2004. I just, I never found a dedicated cabinet that I wanted or that was a good deal. I've, I've passed on so many shit conversions, um, but I finally have a dedicated big blue one and it's amazing. So, um, like I said, I just got home from work. I wanted to <laughs> shoot a video of this. I'm going to get this set up where I want to put it in the garage and then we'll turn it on. We'll check out the monitor and see, uh, how she looks and plays. All right, we got her all fired up. Monitor actually looks really, really nice. Um, it's got a great, uh, a great picture on it. I'm so, I can't believe this is here. I'm so stoked. So I decided uh, we kind of, everything's turned off right now, but I kind of closed everything off. So it, this feels, sorry for that light, more like an arcade. We're kind of like in this little cove over here. So as you walk out, these games are kind of t blocked off. So like this whole side of the garage is basically like the arcade now, instead of having it being open and like not making any sense. So um, I decided to throw this, this is going to be like our little 90 section. So there's street fighter and uh, hang times in my NBA jam cabinet. It kind of, it's reminiscent before I moved down here, I had a mortal Kombat two 
and in my old garage I had NBA Jam and Mortal Kombat 2 like in the corner we call it the 90s corner so that's what we're gonna call this they kind of belong together there's some other 90s stuff I'm working on too but um, I think it looks perfect right here but yeah monitor looks good uh, the control panel overlay is clean all the, these sticks are both tight I think the buttons look brand new um, but yeah it looks awesome that marquee is so cool lit up too this marquee is huge like I have big hands and it's two of those it's a, just a massive marquee looks awesome though so yeah that uh, is there anything else I guess the CPS2 board, these things had suicide batteries on them. This battery just got replaced, so this thing should be fine for a long, long time. But this side of this cabinet is a lot cleaner than the other side, so it's the good side to have on the outside of it that you see when you walk out here. So yeah, I'll do some gameplay videos later on. I just want to get this up, show everyone all of our Christmas stuff is out. This garage is a mess right now, but there you go. It's our big blue. I can't believe we finally have one of these. So... Uh, yeah, if, there, if anyone has any, <laughs> any more information on these things, um, if there's any other Street Fighter boards I should be looking for, I honestly, growing up, I played Champion Edition and Super Street Fighter 2, so I didn't really play it much after this. I used to be a pretty good Street Fighter player, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't like pro status like the guys are these days, but that, the um, glare is terrible, but this monitor is clean AF. It looks really, really good. So yeah, like I said, if anyone has any suggestions for boards I need to get, um, or any information on these big blues, let me know. I'd love to learn more about them. So that's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to play some Street Fighter, drink some beers. I love getting new games. It's been so long. So stoked. See you guys. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all